Hello my soccer universe. After I gave you a little sampling together with my daughter of all the AFCON home jerseys and if you haven't seen that video she's rating them all here. It's time for the big deep dive where we look at all the jerseys that have been released for this year's AFCON and most of them also will be worn which is exciting and if you're a long time subscriber you know I love my African jersey. You see it in the background. I have a small uh, but a hopeful hope fine collection of African jerseys. They are among national team jerseys my favorite and doing the AFCON jersey review is always a highlight for me because not only do we get colors we get wild patterns we also get an eclectic mix of suppliers and this year is no difference. For the 24 teams we have a total of 18 different suppliers. Puma have the lion share with six then a small Portuguese brand with Lakatoni have two the rest all stinky suppliers. So there's only one Nike team, there's only one Adidas team and only one um Umbro team and that makes it extra spe special and extra exciting. How do I do the review? Well I do it in three parts uh, by groups. So groups A and B in part one, C and D in part two, uh, E and F in part three. All the jerseys that you see I pull from Football Kit Archive. Again I warmly recommend if you're interested in jerseys to check this page out because it is really a Football Kit Archive and I rate all the jerseys on a scale from one being the worst to ten being the best. Also if we have looked at a particular jersey already in a previous review I will refer you to that. We'll not talk about uh, this particular jersey at big length to kind of shorten the video a teeny little bit. So I would say let's get started. For this final part I know Tunisia already out but I wanted to give some love to this 98 Tunisia jersey. So yeah I hope you understand that. I didn't want to put again on my favorite Mali shirt. Let's have that one in the background. But Let's get started with the jerseys here and we'll start with the Democratic, Democratic Republic of the Congo or DR Congo or I say the DRC and finally I'll sometimes say Dr. Congo because DR is of course a doctor who also switched just ahead of the uh, AFCON from O'Neill's where they had actually quite some interesting jerseys to Umbro and again you know the switch probably was not that smooth so you get almost a, a generic shirt. I would expect that everything if you get this jersey is just printed on. Uh, the pattern is interesting. I love that Congo uh, are giving us with the light blue a slightly different shade for the entire tournament. For that I always like them and that's probably the one jersey that's really missing in my collection here uh, to kind of give it a slightly different flavor. Um, I miss the leopard pattern because they're called the leopards. That's maybe a miss. I do like the red sleeve but overall it's a little bit too average for me. It's not a bad jer uh, jer jersey but also would go six. I think that with the away jersey they're on to something more here. I don't know what the print on the ball but one of is also the colors are a little bit you know the strokes are a little bit haphazard but on the other side it actually makes it something interesting to look at and it works well as an away jer uh, jersey. So I actually this was one of the jerseys that I thought yeah this is actually uh, while it's not special it's also a little bit clever so I guess I'm gonna go seven uh, here and then they have a very interesting third jer jersey gives me kind of you know Man City had a jersey like that not too long ago uh, I think Barcelona in 11-12 had it with the inverse colors so kind of this gray gradient it just fits with Africa. I mean it's an African sunset if you would like uh, much better. Mm, uh, could we use some light blue just to make yeah there's a little a little bit on on the crest that that will make nice but I think it's also very very in in interesting very strong look I gotta say and normally I would not be so on board with the gradient choices but here I actually am fine and I'm gonna also go seven although it's relatively simple but you know, Africa. I always make excuses for Africa <laughs> if they get something bad. The Morocco home jersey we saw in the World Cup jersey review, it's gloriously retro. For that reason, nine stars. I absolutely love it. Uh, and yes, I, by this time I should have bought probably because I only have a green uh, Morocco jersey. I should get a red one. Although I'm always saying, should I get the away jersey? Similar to Egypt, this is probably the second best version because again, there's a circle and it's kind of, um, there's a pattern there, but it's kind of hidden as well. Uh, that makes it really, really, really cool. I, I do enjoy this jersey quite some. The only thing, as I said already for Ghana and so on, this center stripe. If that wall wasn't there for me, this I, I would give it even a higher grade than I have given at the World Cup jersey review. But I gave it eight stars. This is nice. This is nice. I like this pattern around it to be honest. 
Mali. Oh, you know how I love my Mali jersey with the eagle on. On their last time around, they were a little bit disappointing. And this time around, they said, okay, for the FCOM, we again give you the eagle. I think they did it much better. Uh, this time around, they also went for a white home jersey, which I like. It is wild. Um, but I think they went again a little bit too far. Uh, I like the eagle that it is now a little bit more colored. And the wings are very wild, but it also looks like a little bit the eagle was smashed and then add to it the claw marks. It kind of seems like the eagle wanted to hold on, hold on and smashed against the wall. Not the best look, but it's still wild. It's still wild. It's still Mali. I love my Mali shirts. I love airness. I love the cuffs and, 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 and so on. There's some, something there. Uh, the thing is, it would be much cooler if these claw marks like camera in 2004 were actually really done like proper claw marks. I think it's just the print on, on there. But if you know more, let, let me know. Color wise, it's glorious. I like the motive. As I said, I have a, a few misgivings, but this is a seven star. Uh, to me, I have to say that the away jersey in green looks even better. Although again, we have the the problem that it looks like a false image eagle. That's maybe my own only thing, but the colors are so bright and so in your face that, uh, yeah, it's cool. I, I enjoyed it. This is a much better green jersey than we had last, last time around. Maybe my only gripe is that um, the eagle maybe could use on the head a little bit more yellow uh, surrounding to not have this false uh, look, to be honest. But other, other than that, this is a better jersey I have, have said, than the home jersey I've seen eight. And then they have uh, a black uh, version of it, it as well. I'm, I guess it's cool. <laughs> I guess it is cool, but uh, yeah. I know this is the most highly rare one. I would give it there with the green. I personally prefer the green one. If you were, 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 were to ask me. So I'm going to give this also an eight star. And then let's move on to Namibia. Vecu Sport. They released very colorful kits for this FCON. I have to say the swirly pattern, I love the color, but the swirly pattern is a little bit too much to me. I think if you had this color on a simple shirt, I think you're on to sound to something. You will use the sleeve cuffs and the Namibian flag is very color, 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 colorful. Uh, this is a little bit too wild for my tastes, as you already saw with Nigeria and similarly. I'm gonna give this a yeah, four star actually. Uh, it's a little bit too wild. The away jersey, again, I love the color. Here it's a little bit more also gray gr 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 gradient with a checkerboard pattern. Why do we need the checkerboard pattern? If you just had the gradient in there, I think we're fine uh, overall. It's a much better shirt. I'm gonna go with a, a six here. And I probably most enjoy the uh, third jersey, the blue. And here the swirly pattern, I don't mind. You see the statement that the color makes. But other than that, it's all fine. So I, this here is one that I really enjoy and I'm gonna give this a straight eight star. South Africa, we saw this at the Women's World Cup. Uh, this is not the only Le Coq Sportif team. Um, I think they could do more. This one is more exciting because it has some rainbow patterns. I really bemoan South Africa should go back to the original look that they had where they want the F Concon in the yellow with the green is cool, but you need to add a little bit more in South Africa is the rainbow nation. Why do we do it this way? So I stick with the five stars. I think that the away jersey in dark green looks better. And I think the six is okay a rating for it. But I think again, I would like to see more. And unfortunately the glorious third jersey they had at the Women's World Cup, they're not using. They're giving us a monochrome version of the away jersey. No. That's a straight no. This is boring. I wouldn't want to see this one. Um, four stars. Four stars. Not going to go higher than that. Then we go Tanzania. They have uh, Sunderland as their sponsor. Again, a small team. I think their home jersey is what I would expect from Tanzania. Maybe the color looks a little bit up, but it's a solid effort uh, with some pattering in there as well. I'm gonna go seven. The away jersey is an interesting one. I actually like it, but the uh, color is a whole lot better. What I do not like is that I don't see it as a contrast to the home jersey because there's a whole lot of blue on there. This is a better jersey than the home jersey, I would argue. Uh, I really love it. 
but because it's not providing enough uh, contrast, I cannot go higher than this one. So uh, take it for Volvo, but this is another seven stars. And uh, if this was the home home jersey, I would give you probably eight. And then they have a very interesting third jersey, the one that they qualified in. Um, also kind of this uh, pattern. I don't know where the colors are come, 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 come from, but um, it's wild. But there's something really appealing to it for me as well. So um, again, this gets for me the Africa credit. Let's also give it seven. I think Tanzania, I think the away jersey is the best one. That should be the home jersey. If you were to ask me, although I don't think it quite fits with a, a look at the flag. Now for a true classic. Tunisia have been delivering some of the best kits in the last few years. Usually very classic, a uh, classy looking. Uh, it doesn't come off in the picture well, but the Tunisia crest and the Kappa logo are silvery and very reflective. Now the pattern, I liked the World Cup better where they had uh, what they called Hannibal's armor, which is not. Uh, now they went for the amphitheater of El Gem and just, if you haven't seen it, uh, Google, Google, Google it. It's, it's a massive amphitheater, really well preserved. Fortunately, when I was in Tunisia, I didn't have the time to go. So I like that idea as well to, again, refer to history. It's a very classic Kappa cut. For me, Kappa always has the logos slightly too high. If that was going a little bit lower, I like the pattern on, on there. It's really, really, really cool. I give this eight stars. The away jersey does the same thing in white um, and they keep the red color, which gives it also quite some personality, but I don't see a reason to really change it. Again, reflective logos and the uh, um, Tunisian uh, crest looks better there. Again, I have my problem with the short wings of the eagle, but uh, it's another uh, eight, it's not a really, really, really strong effort. And then the beautiful third jersey inspired by the Mediterranean. The patterning is glorious. Um, I wonder, since you have the red logos, shouldn't have been the color also in red. But this, I don't think it's as cool as the olive green one that we had last, last summer. But this is probably the best one of the three that we have. I'm going to go nine stars. Kappa again outdoing themselves for Tunisia. Then we have Zambia. Um, Again with Copa, not the jerseys that the women use. They just released some, some, some new ones. You have the green home jersey with a, little, with a little bit of orange. It is simple, but it's also effective in, in, in a way. I do enjoy the, the, this one for its simplicity, but also what, what it stands for. I do think that if they would use a little bit of striping from the Zambian flag, this would make this jersey even better. You know, you could, could, could put this on the sleeves here, but it's not bad. So I'm going to give seven here. Um, and then the away jersey, and they have been using this against Morocco, so this might act, act, actually be the home home jersey, but for me, uh, it has, has been sold as the away, away jersey. Give me some green. I think just the orange with the black just don't quite do it for me. For Zambia, they, they, I want to have some green because, you know, the Zambia flag is all green and, you know, give, give, give me a little, little bit of colors. I find this a little bit boring, uh, I have to be honest. Uh, and the color comp, the shade of the orange and the black is never jives with me. And also the crest, it doesn't look better on the home, 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 home jersey. So I'm gonna go for here. And that was our last jersey for the entire AFCON review. It was quite an exciting ride. I loved many, many of the jerseys in here. Please let me know in this part which jerseys did you like, which ones did you dislike, where you agree and disagree with me. Check out all the other parts as well. I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.